he would not talk to me sometimes like because just off the strength of me finding out something me getting mad at him he would shut down not talk to me for days I'm chris wouldn't talk to me for three or four days literally like i would wake up in the morning and he won't say a word to me. And he would just shut down, not talk to me for days. I'm literally in Houston. I know nobody else. I'm here with you. Like, he would leave me in the crib by myself for days. And I remember feeling so alone in Texas. Like, I'm with Chris here, and it's like, I feel so lonely. I don't like this feeling. He would disappear. He would just like, he would go out sometimes, he would not let me come with him for whatever reason. I mean, he would go to the bed, and turn over and not talk to me, not look at me. And he's DMing this girl he used to talk to. I'm like, you know what, bro? You want these bitches so bad? Have them. You know what I mean? I'm not doing it somewhere. And there was a night that I didn't go with him to the studio and he went by himself. That made me ask him, like, did you really invite somebody to the studio when I didn't go? I would never be okay with me staying in someone's house and he's dipping in over there trying to sleep with somebody else at a studio. And I was like, he did not just try to play me while I'm in the house and he's inviting someone to the studio. You played me. You got it. I'm leaving, bro. I go in the closet. I'm trying to pack my stuff up. And he come in the closet. He's like, give me your phone. I was like, Chris, did you invite somebody to the studio? I'm ready to go. He was like, what are you talking about? His mood changed. He starts yelling. And he scared me. I jumped up. I was like, what the f what the f is wrong with him? Like yelling out of nowhere. And I was like, nah, you... You're doing too much. Like, I don't understand why are you yelling like that. Relax. So I'm like, no, I'm not giving you my phone or whatever. And he starts putting his hands on me, trying to really get my phone. Like, what are you doing? And I was just like, why is he acting like this? And name calling started happening. He's babbing me, putting his hands on me, doing all this extra shit. And I'm looking, bro. I'm like screaming, like telling him, like, you're hurting me. You're Like, you're really hurting me. I'm not going to go into detail about the argument, but it was just, it got really, really ugly. Like, bro, I'm like on the floor, my arm twisted behind my back, he's gripping me the f up. So I'm telling him he's hurting me, he's not moving, so I grabbed this b And I was just like, why is he acting like this? And things started escalating, like it's petty, it was unnecessary. And I started realizing that when someone plays the victim, they'll lash out so that you don't question them anymore about certain things. I just look up, I see CJ. Like, why are you doing this in front of, like, bro, you don't understand. Like, nah, like, this little, like, this little boy should not be seeing this. Like, he's a little boy seeing you putting your hands on a female. You know how bad that is? Imagine looking into somebody's eyes you love and choking you. And his sister has to walk in the room, pull him off of me. And after that, bro, it just kept getting worse. And I found